has held much power in our nation, I recognize that the outrage I feel is nothing like the very real experienced pain those of you who are people of color feel. Nevertheless, I've been invited to represent my faith and pray in this moment of profound pain. Pre please pray for me and with me that the Holy Spirit may inspire my words and may breathe into us who have gathered here today. Lord God of the nations, our founding documents speak in flowing language of the natural rights of humanity and the establishment of a democracy to protect the rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But yet, at the very base of the tree of liberty, a poisonous root was allowed to flourish, that some men, by virtue of the color of their skin, were created less than equal. Native populations of this land were exploited and displaced. Then the children of Africa were imported and enslaved to bring forth economic prosperity for the new self-proclaimed masters of this continent. This poisonous root has brought forth tainted produce season after season, year after year, generation after generation, from Jim Crow to the strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees of the South, from redlining to the naked racism of the North. Today we gather to remember and to mourn that harvest of black bodies that America's original sin of racism continues to produce. We hold up before you Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, Michael Brown, Eric Garner, Philando Castile, Dontre Hamilton, Ahmed Aubrey, Rihanna Taylor, Joel Acevedo, George Floyd, and so many other black and brown brothers, sisters, and siblings. We say their names. You remember all your beloved children who have been martyred by the sin of racism, although the names of hundreds of thousands are forgotten to us. Lord, throughout our history, you've raised up prophets following your gospel of freedom and justice. We remember among your servants, Bishop Richard Allen, the Reverend Vernon Johns, and the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. They followed Jesus' command that we love one another as we love ourselves, and the Apostle Paul's admonition that there was no longer Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor male nor female, but that we were all one in God. We pray and we long for peace, but we understand that we cannot know that peace without justice. And we cannot know justice for all until we know justice for black and brown lives. Break open our hearts, especially the hearts of our elected leaders and our law enforcement community, that they may see that the change we demand is the change that God demands for the sake of all God's beloved children. Lord, we ask you to give us today a double portion of the spirit that has inspired faithful people to move from talk to action. As Frederick Douglass said, I prayed for freedom for 20 years, but received no answer until I prayed with my legs. Help us to pray this day with our legs. Help us to pray with our arms. Help us to lift our hearts unto you and never stop until freedom truly rings throughout our land for all of God's children. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.